Hey everyone, it's Silver. So I'm trying to record this video again because it keeps doing weird things to the audio. So hopefully now I've fixed it. If not, I'm going to beat my head into a wall. So I wanted to go over this set, like I said. Hopefully my computer's not going to crash or do something silly in the middle of a recording. I don't know what the spiraling thing of death was, but okay. Here I am. Thank God. Okay, so, as you know, on screen now is the Legend deck for Aichi Sendo has come out. I really love Blaster Blade. Aichi's still dead to me. Um, but besides the point, so, I really love Blaster Blade. When I got my friend into the game, I got we got him the uh, first Kagura deck, and I was like, so you know what? I'm going to buy the first blaster deck. Because I'd been playing Royal Paladins for about a year and a half then. Maybe a little less. And then I was like, okay. So we have that. Get that. Fight. When his legend deck was announced, the uh, Kai legend deck, the Starn, I had slightly hoped, but I had reached out to many other clans. I'd started playing Shadows, um, Gear Chronicle, Kagero, myself. I had started picking up Angel Feather Genesis and I play a lot of decks so with that being said when the legend deck for Aichi came out on May 26 I was super excited I pre-ordered months in advance and I had to wait an extra like week because they had ran out and priority so on and so forth so I was like okay I wanted to cover sets cards from the set but I don't want to cover all the Royal Paladin because they're not all that great. And there's actually one I forgot to pull up. As I just assumed most people know about it. So I forgot to pull that up. But hopefully it loads. If not, we'll just move it to the back for now and come back over here. If not, we might have to close it and try to reopen it. If not, then rip my video. Okay, so I forgot that was an actual card. So you guys... I'll be doing an update video why I haven't been posting it as often as I was doing and hopefully that will clarify um, I also have video ideas if you want to see my personal deck build of the Aichi Sendo Legend deck let me know I will post it I will edit it so on and so forth with that being said I also do other clans than I do all clans I can do a deck list for certain archetypes anything um, if you want budget friendly decks, maybe when I have a little bit extra money, I can take like 20 to 40 bucks, set that aside and do an actual, just build a deck, go online, purchase it, see how much under, how much over we are from that 20 or 40 bucks and tell you what a good deck is at a good value. Now granted guys, with that being said, you will spend a lot on a extremely competitive deck. Some decks go anywhere from 150 to $450. But that's besides the point. Moving forth with the first card released in the set, specifically where you can only get it right now, is Holy Divine Knight Gancelot Peace Saver. And I love that name. His skill is when this unit attacks, if you have a heart with Blaster or Alfred in its card name, counter, counter charge one until end of turn, uh, until end of, of the battle. This unit gets plus one drive, and then if you have a face-up card in your G-Zone, this also gets a critical. During your turn, if this card is face-up, all your rear guards with Blaster in its card name get a continuous resist. Essentially, this is permo giving your uh, units resist. It's a perfect first stride, because if you G-Guard, then you have the critical and drive. I'm going to be personally running two of these, if not more, in my deck when I can get my hands on them. Overall, I think it's better than... Regalia Soul Saver. I'm losing 5,000 power to 3 rear guards, but I'm gaining a drive and a critical at basically the cost of nothing. Whereas Regalia, you need two blasters in your soul and a blaster heart. So it's a maximum of three blasters in your Vanguard area, and I just don't like that about Regalia. I wish Regalia got a, re a better uh, reset, but this is the main grade. This is one of the main grade fours. I love it and I can't wait for it to become my friend for eternity. So with that being said, um, we're moving on to Little Great Sage Marin. Again, hopefully this is recording the way I would like it. Um, Little Great Sage Marin. When this unit is placed on guard, you may, if you have a Blaster or Alfred and it's as your heart, 
may pay the cost if you do. Uh, search your deck for a grade one, call it to guard, give it 5k, shuffle deck. So this is good um, to a degree. I can only see this card being useful if you use um, the old PGs, because then you can place the PG onto guard circle, drop a card, and nullify the attack. Great for getting the PG out and soul flipping, but other than that, it's not going to work with a modern PG where it has to be placed from hand. So, run it at what you guys like. I'm not sure if I'm going to run this. It is a single rare, so I might. Moving on to the grade 3 section of this video, we have New Style Blaster Lou, which his skill is... Um, sorry, I'm trying to get a good view here. Um, his skill is... Um, counter blast, or no, when this is placed on van or rear, you may, you may choose a card from your drop zone with blaster blade in its name, and put it to the bottom of your deck. If you do, this unit gets 5k until end of turn. If you have a, if you have a vanguard with blaster or awkward, this unit gets continuous skill of intercept and a 5k shield. So this is going to be my backup grade 3, because again, a lot of the units in your deck require blaster in its name or Alfred and I don't like the Alfred Legion plus running every form of Lou in my deck is fun because you could run grade 1 Lou, grade 0 or no you can't run grade 1 because that's a um actually could you I don't know I think you can't run grade 1 Lou I don't know I can't remember if Lou Royal Paladin has a grade 1 Lou I'll have to look it up later sorry this is getting a little sporadic because I'm getting frustrated but overall this is the backup grade 3 I'm running at 2 and 4 exceeds um, because I like it, and it's super fun. Plus, it gives me two extra card slots to cram in. The next card, Inspired Painter. What's Inspired Painter do? She inspires to paint. Um, her skill is of every Inspired Painter, which is, sorry guys, I'm trying to keep the card up as in full art as much as possible. There we go. So... Her skill is Generation Break 1. When this unit is placed on rear from hand, if you have an Alfred or Blaster card as your Vanguard, you may counter charge one, soul charge one, and this unit gets 3k. Resource Restalker. You should be running her at 3 at least, or minimum of 2. Because the deck consumes resources, and where, the, where other cards just search out whatever you want, like your Marin or your Star Hope that you could run a couple of, She's a great card to have. Plus the 3k bonus when she's placed from hand. Um, actually, ignore my statement about the hope in Marin. You're going to want just to play this from hand, not straight to field. But she is a wonderful card to play. And yeah, just inspired painter. Every other, uh, led, or every other paladin has their painter. Except for gold, I think. Hopefully we get a gold legend deck next year. But overall, I like the artwork. We have a whole bunch of kitties in the background, some birds, some flowers. It's a nice card. It looks nice. It fits with the new theme. Hey, there's a bunny. But overall, I like this card, and I can't wait to see what power it brings us. Moving on to the very last card, besides the SPs, which I'm not covering, because a lot of them are just more of the... Actually, all the SPs are quite literally these th uh, these two cards plus three cards from the legend deck so I'm not doing that and the last card is divine maiden Lynn so let's bring her up to the screen she's a sentinel with the unique ability to soul blast when placed on rear or not on rear, from guard from hand if you you may choose a grade 3 Alfred or blaster that's being attacked and it cannot be hit until end of battle so she's a perfect guard that doesn't require a drop so I like her. I'm planning on playtesting her a bit when she comes out in September to see how she runs. But past that, I don't know if I'll actually fully use her. And guys, that's sort of it for the video. Uh, hopefully it, the audio records perfectly. Uh, we're going to just swap right over back to the OG of the video. And yeah, so these cards were specifically picked out because they support Blaster and not Alfred. Which... I'm really not behind the Alfred, because Alfred is still an expensive card in general, and I don't like that some of them are like that. So, um, yeah, overall, I really did enjoy making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, have a great Sunday, everyone. I'm 
if there's nothing Monday, I'm sorry. I went out with family to spend the weekend. So I will see you all then. Until next time, guys. I've been the Silver Wolf. Check out Black Moon and uh, Kazuko Terry Co. down in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Peace.